For this question, we are given the function f of x is equal to 2x squared, and we are going to find the domain. Remember, the domain is the set of all the possible x values. Well, if you look at this, there's no x on the bottom, and the x is also not inside of the square root. When you have 2x squared, you can plug in any x values into this function here. Therefore, the domain for this right here is just all real numbers, meaning there's no restriction, all real numbers. And now we'll do it. Well, I also want to use this opportunity to just kind of remind you guys the following, okay? If you want to find the domain, if you have the function in terms of a rational function, meaning like a fraction, if you have the top over the bottom, and also if you have another function, let's say you have the square root function and you have the x inside of the square root, right? So the restriction that you have to set is the following. This right here, you will have to make sure that the bottom cannot be equal to zero. And then you will have to solve for this you know, inequality, or well, technically, right? Because this is a not equal symbol. So that's why it's an inequality. And if you have this kind of situation to find the domain, you look at the inside of the square root. Remember, we cannot have negative numbers inside of the square root. So we will have to make sure the inside has to be greater than or equal to zero. So only when you have these two situations that you will have to do some work, you will have to solve some equations or inequalities. But you see this right here, no fraction, no square root, no worry, just all real numbers. And that's it.